the three uncommon traits of real no BS millionaires. There is so much BS out there at the moment. It is untrue. Yesterday, I interviewed someone for my podcast. 400 million a year in turnover. 4,000 staff built it from absolute scratch 17 years ago. And he said a couple of things that I know to be true because I've built a business that's done a quarter of a billion in sales in a similar time frame. And it was a bit of a hallelujah moment, which I want to share with you. But you know all this, you know, work 25 hours a day and want success more than you want oxygen. Go big or go home 10x. <laughs> go all in, no plan B. Um, this is not real. It's not real. The problem is, <clears throat> you know, they say fail your way to success. Well, do you have to keep failing? Or is there an argument that if you keep failing, you're actually failing? You're actually not learning. So I'm going to share a couple of things that this 400 million a year in sales, he actually owns Brewdog. So he's a proper hardcore entrepreneur, real life legitimate one, passionate as fuck about entrepreneurship. And he said, the only thing you learn about failure is that you weren't good enough. And I actually think there you fucking go. Finally, someone said it. The anti-wanky, anti-American influencer, real shit. Because look, yes, you have to be able to move through challenges and, you know, pick yourself up when you get knocked down. Yeah, you do. And yeah, you're going to fail. You don't have to fail. You're going to fail. But all these American influencers saying how failure is really good and failure is success. The only thing you learn when you fail is that you weren't good enough. I love that shit. It's hardcore and it's real. The next thing is, um, he said to me, I asked him what was his best advice. And he said, well, my best advice came from Sir Tom Hunter. And I was like, ah, Sir Tom Hunter has been on my show. And Sir Tom Hunter is a billionaire. Hallelujah. So what was that? What have, I've done it, this little series. If you follow me on my page, uh, the last three lives I've done are all about being a real life millionaire and not a no BS, you know, not a BS American influencer, wanky, TikTok, you know, pubes millionaire, which doesn't work. It's not real being a real millionaire. And one of the things I said was that of a trait of a real millionaire is they are mentored by other millionaires. The only way to get rich and the best way to get rich simultaneously is to learn from people who are rich. The only way to stay broke and the best way to say it, stay broke and the guaranteed way to stay broke is to be around zero S. So I asked him his best advice and he said something that a billionaire mentor told him. So these three uncommon traits of billionaires, which have been absolutely backed up from um, someone who does 400 million, who, who founded Brewdog that I interviewed yesterday. Oh, and by the way, I've done what? 1,050 podcast episodes, most of them interviews. Millionaires, decker millionaires, 100 millionaires, and 21 billionaires. So I, I guess I'm kind of on a mission to cut through all the bullshit and all the stuff that 17-year-old TikTokers and people just copying posts on LinkedIn are trying to tell you about being rich and successful. So re reality number one is anyone who wants to make really good money needs to get good at raising money. Now, you don't have to have money to start, but how many rounds of finance and how many pitches has the founder of Brewdog done to build a 400 million pound company? I don't know, but I know it's a lot. I also know he's starting a new business now and he's pitching for money. You know, he's looking for investors. So the thing with money is you don't have to have it to start, but you do have to learn how, I mean, Facebook. <laughs> how many billions has Mark Zuckerberg raised? Elon Musk raised most of the money to uh, buy X, previously known as Twitter. Okay, next trait then is if you 
Want to be rich? The only way to be rich is learn from the rich. And most people are learning from the broke or learning from the mainstream media, which, which are indoctrinating you to be poor. Uh, and then the third common trait is accountability. Accountability can come from your own trauma and pain and, and, and voids and absolute burning needs and desires within you to succeed at all costs. That's one place that your accountability can come from, which it does for many entrepreneurs. But if you don't necessarily have that because you had an easy, easy or a good upbringing or, you know, you're, you're more of a whole complete person, you need to find accountability. Could that be mentors? Could that be being in a mastermind? Could that be uh, having a competition with someone? Could that be thinking about your children's future and their legacy? And could, the, could the, that be tuning in to the death of the UK and wanting to get your family, you know, in, in a more protected, affluent, um, productive society? But there has to be accountability. When all is said and done, more is said than done. To know and not to do is not to know. Most people will fail without accountability because who's the easiest person to lie to? yourself. Whereas it's hard to lie to a mentor, a coach, you know, someone who has been there and done it and knows all the bullshit because they've told themselves. So I actually wasn't going to do this, but because I was going to take a break because I've been all over it. But actually this Sunday, uh, I, I'm opening up on these uncommon traits of millionaires and the uncommon traits of billionaires and I've got one of the top guys in the UK on the kind of the more spiritual side of money. And he's coming in and he's interviewing me. And we're going to do an hour plus VAT, so an hour and 15, on the uncommon but real traits of millionaires. That, by the way, existing in all of us, they're not exclusive to millionaires. They're what made them millionaires, but they exist in all of us. But the non-wanky, non-bullshitty ways, the stuff that's real, the stuff that works in the UK, the stuff that's not delusional and rah-rah and good for social media algorithms, but, but good for nothing else. So this guy's going to grill me and open me up on these uncommon traits of millionaires so you can model them and copy them and shorten your journey towards success and fail less and succeed more. And then I'm going to do the billionaire ones as well because I did quite a, a deep dive piece of content on the 21 habits and traits of billionaires. I'm going to open up on a good few of those as well. And we're going to go into some detail and give you some context and ex examples and some practical ways that you can implement them. So I'll subsidize your Zoom. I'll do it for free as part of my giving back and continued support, you just need to go to tiny.cc forward slash, in fact, why don't I post it here for you, tiny.cc forward slash three traits, the number three, the three traits here of real, no BS, millionaires, tiny.cc forward slash the number three, and then traits, T-R-A-I-T-S. If you go there right now, it's a free Zoom class for me. It's probably 75 minutes. I'm getting proper grilled, proper grilled. I'm getting grilled and interviewed by someone who's a, a real expert in the space of the spiritual side of money. But I've told him to go hard on me. And the uncommon traits of millionaires and the uncommon traits of billionaires are all going to be exposed. You're going to give it, have your chance to ask me questions as well. I'm going to subsidize this for you. Part of the reason that I'm doing this is because, well, actually, kind of one of my ulterior motives is I want to draw out a lot of the questions and create um, some deeper content on this. I I'm writing quite a few money books at the moment and I want to write one on the uncommon traits of millionaires. You know, what really works that um, is most people don't understand. I don't know what the title's going to be yet, but I want I'm working on a concept to that. So um, your questions will help me draw out more content. So the link is tiny.cc forward slash three traits. T-R-A-I-T-S. So it's really important that you only take advice from people who are where you want to be and have done what you want. And it's really difficult at the moment because anyone can hire a Lambo and anyone can hire an Airbnb and anyone can copy someone on TikTok and anyone can just rip a post on LinkedIn and pretend they know what success is and pretend that they know what being rich is when they're not. And it sort of pisses me off because it's misinformation. Also, just being honest, pisses me off because I've been in this industry two decades and I've seen so much shit. And it also makes me realise that, you know, I've got a lot that I can help people with. I mean, I've been an entrepreneur two decades. I've 340 property rental units, done a quarter of a billion in sales in my training business. I've written 19 books of which I'm pretty much the top UK author on the subject of, of money. So it just reminds me I've got a lot that I can help you with. 
And by the way, I, I was, you know, all this working 24 hours a day, 25 hours a day. And you need, you need to want success like you need oxygen. <sighs> no, no, I need oxygen before success. I'm not, I'm not going to sacrifice oxygen for success. And, you know, you have to work hard, yes, but you have to work smart, yes. You have to micromanage a bit and you have to let go a bit. And a lot of the things that people tell you about a dr drive success and wealth, it's one-sided, it's imbalanced, it's not real. So, <laughs> take it easy. I, I don't do anything easy, Tatiana. Taking it easy is just not in my makeup. Anyway, the free Zoom class is tiny.cc forward slash three traits, T-R-A-I-T-S. By the way, there'll be no recordings or replays unless you're a Rob.team member. So hashtag just saying. Um, and we'll uncover the real shit that makes people millionaires and billionaires. That's accessible to everyone, but you have to work hard enough not to have to work hard. You have to set to forget. So I'm not going to say it's hard. I'm not going to say it's easy. I'm going to tell you what's real. So thanks for tuning in. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.